guys were coming from the Ridgely Shop Complex, and look, no uh, cell phone in the hand. We actually ramped up our game a little bit tonight, brought in our media uh, director to help us out with uh, a little bit more of a uh, better video presentation. Anyway, I'm John, and we're here at the Ridgely Shop Complex, as I've shared. By the time that you're hearing this, you've heard the news that our uh, Maryland Thunder locomotive is going to be taking a little bit of an extended time to be repaired. Late last week, our shop crews at Diversified Rail Services were working on the, the driving wheels for Maryland Thunder. At that time, it was discovered that the journals to the axles were just not in the best condition and needed some attention. At that time, Gary Benzman telephoned me and let me know of the situation, and under his recommendation and keeping the project's prime scope in focus, which is to restore the locomotive to better than as new condition. The decision was made that we should send our axles out to be repaired. This will take two to three months, as you may have heard, which also suspends service until winter of 2018. We're all very disheartened over the situation, and for those of you who have contacted us and have shown your support, we are very, very thankful that you all understand that this is more than just a, a kit out of a box kind of ordeal. This is an, a restoration process that has taken a lot of patience, a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of dedication from the people that are actually working on it. So for that, we're very, very happy. We're very, very proud. We're very thankful for you understanding what we're going through here. It was not our intent to post these dates only to miss them as far as rollout dates are concerned. We want to deliver a quality locomotive. It is our goal here on the Western Maryland to make Maryland Thunder into the best locomotive that it can be since we're going through this restoration process. We want to do it right the first time. That being said, we want to make sure that this locomotive will roll out these shop doors with unrestricted mechanical capabilities. Now, what does that mean? That means we want to be able to send this locomotive, should the need ever arise, anywhere in the United States. We take great pride in the rebuild process here, and we're very thankful Diversified Rail Services and Gary Benzman and his team of men are here working on this locomotive. When we originally started this restoration process and we started sharing dates with the public of when our locomotive would roll out the door, we had the best intentions in mind. Now with this recent unveiling of issues, we're very saddened to have to postpone events, but at the same time, we want to do what's right for the project. We want this locomotive to go another 50 years. When the 1309 arrived here on the property several summers ago, we did not know exactly what was in store for this restoration process. The previous administration in Shop Force uh, had one plan of, in mind to restore the locomotive, and that was good. However, once we actually got into the locomotive and we actually started taking metal apart from metal, we discovered a multitude of sins. We know that the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad used this locomotive in service. They did very little maintenance. Apparently, those who worked on the CNO knew that their time was limited. This locomotive came out of service somewhere in 1957, as near as we can tell. So it was used hard and not serviced very often. If you consider this restoration process something like an onion, once you start on skinning the onion, you know there's layer after layer of layer of issues. And that's basically what we've run into with this project. You take one level off, but there's another problem. You think you have that fixed, you take off another, and of course it goes on and on and on, the domino effect, if you will. So we are proud to say that we're 80% through this restoration process. Within the next few weeks, we will be undergoing a hydro test, and we will do as much as we can to keep that in front of you folks so you know what's going on. We're very thankful to Jim Rin and Trains Magazine, along with his staff, who are keeping us well informed in how we should present that process, as well as their support with these photo freights. You've heard me in the, in the last few weeks share about our photo freights. We're very proud to share that our, that our heritage freight cars are in service. They're ready to go. They're waiting for the locomotive to come, as we all are. A few days ago, Jim Rin and I were talking, and he shared with me the concept that in our lifetime, we never expected to see an articulated steam locomotive return to service. So we can wait a few extra months to have that locomotive back under steam. I thought that was a good point. 
So as I shared, we're going to send these axles and wheel assemblies out to be repaired. That doesn't mean work is going to stop on the locomotive. So during those next two to three months, our shop forces, and again with Diversified Rail Services, will be here in this shop building working on Maryland Thunder behind me. So as the wheels are being worked on at another location, we're going to continue to reconstruct the locomotive here. Then we're hoping to bring all the pieces back together, lift the locomotive and set it on its wheels, and then we will be underway. So, waiting two or three months for all this work to be done, to make sure our steam locomotive is in tip-top A1 condition with those unrestricted mechanical capabilities, is the thing to do. So, all of that to say is I want you to sit back in your chair, close your eyes, and think about what it would look like have an articulated steam locomotive here on the Western Maryland on a very cold wintry day working its way up through the Narrows, climbing up through Helmsteaders. That will be the sight to see and that will be the location to be in. It's my goal, my personal goal, to make sure that we are working as transparent as we can. And within the next few weeks we will keep these video clips coming your way. If you like them, like us on Facebook, drop us an email and let us know. Let us know what we can do better. Let us know what information you're looking for. There's a lot going on behind the scenes other than Maryland Thunder here. So we're looking forward to visiting with you again real soon. Keeping this restoration process in mind, we are very thankful for our followers, for our supporters, for the local elected politicians who have all gathered around me and our team here up the Western Maryland and they're keeping our, our spirits up and we're keeping white flags on the front moving full steam ahead. So on behalf of the Board of Directors, Team WMSR and myself, I want to thank you for watching here, for understanding what we're going through, knowing that we are committed to making sure this steam locomotive will roll out these shop doors. That is a big help.